Yo guys, what's up? I did this to the house? I told you I'd do the foundations, so I did. It started raining though, but luckily, I got a bed. A normal bed, not a white bed, a normal bed. You know, a red bed, like a normal person has. Oh my god. Hey! Hey, you're invading a proper property! Jeez. Anyways, I just need some sand for some glass and ooh, some leather for books. Let's do that real quick. And, right, forgot, not everything comes. In. Yeah. Okay. Here, we'll get this raw beef. And let's try to find some, uh, that, some sand. Cut down these two trees for here. Um, hmm. Okay, well, at least I live uh, next to a mining haven. Oh, yeah, the old lava. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. Let's see if I can. Woo! Let's see if I can check out the old lava. Okay, ignoring this awesome cave. Oh, yeah, let's go! And I got infinite cobblestone. Look at this. Let's go. Oh yeah, the old lava. Doesn't it look awesome? Incredible. Yes! Man, I love it. Anyways, I have to get back up now. What is that? Formation, okay. Anyways. Anyways, the water has to be coming from somewhere, so... Oh, more iron. Um, there must be some sand up there. I just need... Let's see. So I got... Six and then six plus five is eleven sand. I need eleven sand. Where am I going? The water is right there. Wait for me. Okay. By the way, fun fact: Christopher Columbus didn't discover America in 1492. And the actually, in the late 1300s, Leif Erikson was the first European to land it in North America, specifically Canada, but we're just going to ignore that. Okay. Eh. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot. Physics. Uh, mining things that are in water while you're standing on land is pretty straightforward. Mining things while you're in a foot of water, well, I mean, you're a meter deep in water, so I mean... I mean, Steve at the is like six up foot something, so I mean. Okay, I just need 11, and I already have 9. I just need uh, two more. Sick. Boom. Okay. We'll need some coal. Thank you for asking. I love coal veins, they're so big. many views I get because I'm recording all of these I'm screen recording all of these in one day one it's been like half an hour I've been recording right because um, summer breaks about to hit I just got three half days after this weekend and then um, school's out I'm gonna be uploading a lot more often um, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, got 17 coal. Fun fact, uh, quick tip. You never want to, uh, right, you never want to use just raw coal in a furnace. You want to make it into coal blocks. You want to know why? Because coal blocks last just a bit longer, like, a few seconds longer than, uh, normal coal. So, uh, yeah, there's a tip for ya. Anyways, let's start smelting some sand. Oh, while I'm at it, I'm gonna use it in here too. Let's start some of that out. 
Okay. Yes! The old glass that you can't see through. Yes! <laughs> Anyways, I need to start getting some more logs in. Also, my axe broke. So that sucks. So I'm gonna have to mine these all by hand. Oh well. And sometimes you just gotta do hard work. Here's a big tree right here. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Horse. How to tame a horse is you wanna follow its direction that it goes, because it'll try to read it off. And it will. Unless you follow its direction, and that's how you tame a horse in Minecraft. I learned that a while years ago. Let's go, see? It's tamed. Dang it, I wish I had a saddle. Or a leash. Dang it, where's a wandering trader? As I can already tell, this is probably a fast horse. Oh well. Ooh, a parrot. Wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I can I'll just start placing the wood as I get it. Because I don't want this to be boring or anything. Yes, a wandering trader! What do you know? What do you have to trade uh -huh. for me? You want five emeralds for some pufferfish? Okay, where okay, you did get that coral though. You did get that coral from the bottom of the sea though. Oh. You don't want these hands for real. This dude did not fight for real. Bro, imagine, bro. Imagine not being able to fight. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just beating up an innocent man. That's actually not... He doesn't... He's an NPC, so... The llamas do not care that I am destroying their master. Yes. The leads. I shall... Get my tamed stallion, wherever the uh, heck it is. Uh, here it is. And put it somewhere. Also, you want to know an advantage for bedrock? The leashes have physics. Super sick. Like my skin? You probably don't. It's based off me. It's supposed to look like me, except for the fact that I'm not 6'4", um, and my hair doesn't, and my hair is blonde. It's just the fact that it isn't that blonde, and my hair doesn't look like that. I have more of a really long Caesar cut. But yeah. Let's see, I can't really attach you to anything in here. Uh, but I can put you in here. Hold on. Okay. Come in, dude. Oh, I'm guessing it has to be like three blocks tall for you or something. Oh, it's the door. Dude. Come in. Dude. Dude. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa there, bucko. You don't want to go down that road. What am I saying? Hey. Hey there. Hey there, buckaroo. <coughs> Get in the house! Oh, I see. To destroy my house. Get him in here. Oh no, the leash! 
Where did he go? Oh no! Dude, I'm sorry I hit you. Please forgive me. Yes. Now I just have to fix up my house. Hey, hey, hey there. Boom. Sick. Boom. See how long that cold block lasted? That's what I thought. Exactly. Okay, I just have to place them with the glass. And I was right. Perfect amount. Sick. You can stand here, dude. While I finish building the stuff in this house and i'll see you guys uh probably tomorrow i'm done recording for now